Hey guys, it's Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a little while since I've done a video. Last week I got a really, really awesome uh, unopened item in the mail that I want to share with you guys. And I don't know about other, everyone has a different approach, right? When it comes to, when you see an item you really, really want, do you actually try to pursue it if it's a little bit outside your means? Do you just hold on to what you have? Do you try to sell some things to finance it? What do you do, right, when you see an item you really, really want? And I, I guess now about 10 days ago, or 10 or 12 days ago on Facebook, I saw a pack listed in the unopened group that I'm in that I really, really uh, wanted. And I, at first the price was just, it was just a little bit too high and I didn't think I could uh, uh, sell enough things to maybe finance it or the things that I would sell would be too painful to get rid of because I am a collector. Uh, and then about 12 hours went by and I'm still thinking about this pack and I keep going back to the listing to see if it's sold. No one's claimed it. And then the seller, uh, who is a guy that I've sold to in the group, a uh, real nice guy named Brad, uh, he lowered the price of, of the listing in the Facebook group by $150. And that maybe that was just the impetus that I needed to reach out to him. And I sent him a message and I just said, hey Brad, I, I absolutely love this pack. And can you give me, I, I, it's always the, the idea of uh, over, uh, under promise, over deliver. That's really my approach. If I need a little bit of time to pay for an item, people know me on, in the Facebook group and they know I'm good for it. I, I just reached out to him and I said, hey, can you give me two weeks? Uh, to get the money together because this is not a cheap item. And he said, absolutely happy to help a collector out. Uh, no problem at all, he was really nice. I was able to get him the money in three or four, three or four days. Um, but I was willing to part with some stuff because I saw this pack and just, it really, really, I don't wanna say it spoke to me because you know, packs don't talk, but um, it just really, I just really, really wanted this pack. I sent my friend Phil, uh, whose channel is I Love Baseball Cards, I sent him a message and I just said, I freaking want this pack, uh, but I just can't swing it. And then I, once he lowered the price, the seller, $150, you know, I found a way to get the money together. And so I sold some packs, but out of it, I got a pack that I was just really, really happy to add. And it's a very hard to find pack. This is a 1976 Topps Rack pack and some really, really nice cards on top here. Of course, we have uh, Don Hood, we have Ellie Rodriguez, and then we have Bobby Mitchell. Uh, you know, all common showing, all commons on the back as well, um, but it's just, it, I just saw this pack and I just had to have it. Uh, and what's really cool, kind of a fun fact of the day, and this relates to tonight, actually, Ellie Rodriguez, the catcher here with the Angels, he caught Nolan Ryan's fourth no-hitter. So there's a little bit of history on this in this pack. Uh, and so uh, Nolan Ryan, there's a Nolan Ryan documentary that's playing in select theaters tonight called Facing Nolan. I'm going to see it. Uh, I've been looking forward to it for uh, weeks. I'm really excited about it. But this guy right here caught his fourth no-hitter. So I, this pack just really, I just I just fell in love with this pack. And similar, I'm gonna show the other 76 that I have in my collection in a minute, but uh, to show some differences to you. But the 76 has this red header, you see 42 cards, 49 cents. But I just, just love this pack. And I'm gonna show you the back so you can see that. Okay, so you can see on the back here, the, it's hard to it's hard to show all the, um, the, the the cards on the back because of the glare. But you can see the back of this header is white, right? It's white. And what's interesting is that actually on the front and the the front of the header, someone put a sticker that says 1976 on it, which of course it is a 1976. But somebody put a, a sticker on the front, which to me adds character. Who knows how long that's been on there. I'll show that again because I, I thought that was kind of a neat little, you know, uh, sometimes stickers and things like that add character to a pack, right? But in the, in the way that this one is white on the back, 
right on the back of the header. The second one, this is the, the other 76 that I currently have in my collection, another gorgeous pack. 76 is growing on me so, so much. I just love the design, um, the way the cards look in the rack. This Cubs uh, Floating Heads team card is just amazing. But this is the other one. You've seen this one if you've watched all, if you watch my channel. You've seen this pack already. You, and you see the same red header, right? 42 cards, 49 cents. But on the back, the back of the header of this is, is, is kind of a charcoal gray. So there's two different colors to the backs of these red 1976 Topps headers. So we have the white one, and we have this one. But these are my two 76 Topps rack packs. And these are both absolute centerpieces for my collection. Uh, and I, you know, I don't have the budget of some of these really high roller guys. I just don't. You know, you'll see guys, especially in, on social media, they'll post packs in the unopened group. You know, a guy the other day, I saw he posted a 1971 Topps rack pack. Something like that, I would have to literally sell every single thing I owned. And I still probably wouldn't be able to you know, afford, or it would be really pushing it. <laughs> and so I, you really have to find, you can get some awesome stuff and it's okay to sell some stuff, but you still have to try to, you know, I want to feel like I'm building a collection, you know, and so you have to know your limit. And I think 76, maybe 75 is my limit right now. 74 is really, 74 racks are now probably $2,000 a piece, uh, give or take. And that's just, that's just too much. It's too much. It's it's a uh, and I again I'd have to sell awesome stuff like this to, to buy it. So this is where I draw the line, at least for now, unless I get promoted or something amazing happens, we win the lottery or something. But two beautiful '76 Topps rack packs that I'm thrilled to have in my collection that um, look good together. I put a picture on the in the Facebook group of them together. Uh, but this guy caught in Lawrence fourth career no hitter, and I'm going to go see the documentary tonight called Facing Nolan. Check it out if, if uh, you're curious. I, th I think it's showing around the country in a very limited uh, um, capacity. It's, I think it's just tonight only. It's showing at seven o'clock tonight, and that's the only time I've seen. And it's at one theater <laughs> in the area where I live. So I'll let you know about that. But hope you're all doing well. Thank you uh, if you've stayed till the end. Thanks for taking a look at uh, these packs. Thanks for supporting my collecting journey and for being excited when I pick stuff up. Uh, your support means a lot to me, and I'll be back with another video. I'd like to say soon. We will see how the coming weeks go. Um, we're getting ready to move in the, you know, in the next, I would say in the next month, give or take. So still figuring everything out there, but keep collecting vintage and open, unopened baseball <laughs> and take care of each other.